It's day seven of Summerfest, and we are here with Molly Thomason. How are you doing today? I'm great, thanks. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. Thank you for asking. (laughs) So for the past few years, you've been swimming in a lot of praise in your native Canada. How has, like, how does it feel to have so much critical acclaim following you for your songwriting? It's, um... It's awesome. I, I haven't really thought about it, but I, <laughs> it's, I guess, yeah, it's, it's really cool. I think, like, one of the greatest honors for me was to be nominated in Nova Scotia, which is my, my home province in Canada. I was uh, nominated for a songwriting award with my friend Carlton Stone for a song we co-wrote together, and um, that was a really big honor because songwriting is one of the most important things that, uh, to me that I, that I do, and um, so it was very like very big deal for me to be recognized for, for that and nominated for that. So cool. that felt great. Yeah. yeah. So what inspires you in your songwriting? Um, everyday life, you know, people, friends, love, of course. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm trying to kind of branch out and look more at, um, you know, uh, world issues and like news and all that kind of thing and draw inspiration from that more and more. Um, but yeah, a lot of like uh, personal emotions and personal experiences and, and relationships and that kind of thing. Yeah. Gotcha. So... Are you still attending the University of Toronto? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay. But I did bring one of my frosh leaders with me. He's playing guitar. He's my guitar player now. But uh, yeah, I uh, I decided that that university wasn't really my thing, so uh, I left. Uh, but I still live in Toronto. So. Perfect. Yeah. Wonderful. So tell us about your third album that's going to be released soon. Yeah, um, it's going to be coming out in the fall, mm-hmm. um, and it's a rock and roll album, and I like to really draw the, the difference and uh, talk about the difference between rock music and rock and roll music. Mm-hmm. Um, it's definitely a rock and roll album. Uh, it's melodic, it's kind of poppy, it's fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm really inspired by people like Buddy Holly and uh, Dion and the Belmonts and Chuck Berry, those kind of guys. Um, lyrically, I'm really inspired by Bob Dylan, um, so I kind of try to to like take fun melodic music and and try to put what I think are intelligent, interesting lyrics. Um, so that's kind of like the the music side. But um, in terms of the production and all that is really cool. I got to work with um, John Angus McDonald, who's from a Canadian band called The Trues. Um, they've come over here a bunch of times. They're really great, and it was super fun to work with him. Like. He's like the best I've ever connected with somebody uh, in the studio. We were kind of finishing each other's sentences by the end of the yeah. record being finished. Um, and then another guy that was involved was um, Cone McCaslin from Sum 41, mm-hmm. um, the bass player of Sum 41. Uh, he played bass on it, and it was just like super cool to have in the studio and and super fun. And was throwing in some ideas as well. So it was it was a really it was a really great time, and I'm excited for it to come out and for people to actually hear it and hear people's opinions because I've been sitting on it and listening to it and I'm for excited yeah I'm excited for people's other people to hear it great so is this your first performance in the United States uh I one time in grade eight I played a coffee house in New York <laughs> City with my parents so but yeah I think so yeah my big my first big real show yes perfect yeah. so how has Milwaukee been treating you so far oh it's awesome I got a really awesome um, jacket at Annie's on Brady Street I think yeah. uh, Brady and Warren or something I think so yeah yeah and uh, that's so I was pretty happy with that that's like the best find I've had at a vintage store in like a year so <laughs> that was good and um, we've been we've been checking out the pool at the hotel that's been good Ooh. but uh, yeah no we, we really like Milwaukee um, like it kind of when we were on Brady Street, it kind of reminded me of um, of like Halifax, where in Nova Scotia, just because of it's kind of like old and quaint and just like small shops and really yeah, yeah it was beautiful. So I'm really loving it. Yeah. Good. Glad to hear you like our home city. Yeah, so yeah. That's good. Uh, who would you most like to perform with here at Summerfest? Ooh. Ever like in my my dream? Uh, well, like someone here playing? at Summerfest, and then sure if you want to expand it. Oh. To, uh, um, I someone I really, really love who's playing Summerfest is Fun. I really like Fun. And I'm actually seeing them uh, with Tegan and Sarah in Toronto this coming weekend. Oh, cool. So that'll be really cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're, they're really awesome. I'm so, I think we missed their show, but, but uh, yeah, I, I would have loved to see them. We're really excited to see MGMT tonight. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. So last question I have for you. It's kind of sure. fun. Sure, sure. Um, what superpower would you most want to have and why? Oh, wow. I would really like to be able to teleport okay. because then it just saves you all the hassle of, like, getting to and from places, you know? You don't have to, like, 
just like take all the time like oh like i would have loved to have been able to teleport to milwaukee from toronto and then spend more time in the city being able to see it being able to see the festival yes yeah, teleportation that'd be great perfect yeah well thanks a lot for being here thanks for having me and we look forward to seeing your set tonight yeah i'm excited thank you thanks